Hey, so let's get going on this. Um, just a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Michael. I've been married um, three years in May uh, to my wife Gracie. I'm getting ready to graduate this uh, this semester, and I'll be uh, a licensed minister with the AG by probably by the end of this year, uh, maybe even before that. Um, I'm the youngest of five siblings. Live in southern New Mexico and I love history. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, first things first, whenever you're practicing, make sure you have good posture. Um, what you want is a straight back, uh, or as near to it as you possibly can. Uh, no slouching, no hunch over shoulders, that's gonna make you get sore, that's gonna um, when you're practicing, it'll make you strain yourself to where you um, you get like these little sore crunches in your neck and stuff. It will prevent you from 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 practicing. Um, so make sure you sit up with a straight back. Um, you want you want this part of the guitar to rest on your leg, just like that. And this the arm is going to sit right there on the on the top, just like this. You don't want it slouching over like this, and you don't want it pulled back like this. You want it right on that. Um, um, and if, if let me see if I can actually raise this up a little bit. So, if you're sitting down, it'll go right there, and then your arm will go right here. Then when you're strumming, it'll look like this. Okay. Um, and if if it doesn't feel comfortable, uh, there's probably a reason for it. So just keep an eye on that. Um, when you're holding your pick. It's good pick posture is very important too, because uh, you could lose your pick. You'll have less control over the strings. What you want to do is you want to make a little U out of this finger. That's a nice little U right there, and then you want to take your pick, and put it in just like that. There, like that, and then you want your thumb to pl be placed right on top of it, where your thumb is actually even with that. See. And then um, you don't want these fingers to be hanging out. You want them to be tucked in like this. So that's what your hand will look like. Okay? <clears throat> so there's your basic posture. You got the straight back. You got this. Your shoulders on that on that guitar. It's not hanging over. It's not pulled too far back. You've got a relaxed, relax, relaxed feel. Now your left hand. Um, make sure that you don't let this happen. You don't want your thumb being thrown way over, and you don't want it to be pulled way back. You want it to rest right about there. That's about what it's going to look like. You're going to have you're going to see a little triangle right here. Let me see if I can get 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 you a better angle of that. So you're going to have a little little triangle right there. But for the most part, you're going to have a nice firm grip. Like this is what it's going to look like if, if the guitar was not there. The the thumb is pressed right up against that the back part of that guitar, and your fingers are hanging over the other side. Now, when you push down on a fret, you want to make sure to push down with the tips of your finger. It's going to look like this. You don't want you don't want you don't want to play like this with the flats of your fingers, and you don't want to go too far over where you're hitting with your with your uh, nails. You want to hit right there on your actual fingertips. Just like that. And when you hit a fret, you want to hit as close to the fret as possible. You don't want to hit over here. You want to hit over here. See? Don't don't hit too far over this way. See, it sounds real sloppy. And uh, make sure you don't go too far over because then you'll get in the next fret. So you just get that nasty feedback. Um, so yeah, make sure that your finger and make sure your finger and make sure your thumb on the back isn't flat. You don't want it to look like this. If I can give you a good angle of that. You don't want it to look like this. You want it to look like that. See as I'm playing, I've got my see if I can get you a better angle here. Uh, the thumb is pressed up against there. There's nice, comfortable, but still attacking the strings. Sorry, I don't have much space here. <laughs> um, so see, it's real relaxed, but yet at the same time, 
I'm hitting, I'm, I've got good posture on all my different, all my different uh, parts here. Um, so we went over posture. Um, okay, when you're practicing, make sure to do it consistently. Our minds are like fields. If you walk the same spot on a field every day, you're gonna wear a path into that field, and grass won't grow there. It'll, it'll, it'll form a little trail. And our, our minds are the exact same way. If we do something every single day, we're gonna, we're gonna wear a path in our brain where that's how we'll, ha how we'll do it without even having to think about it. So what you want to do is you want to work real hard at having correct posture, so that, that way later on you, you don't have to think about it, and you can just focus on other things. And um, it'll help you play smoother and clearer. You start, you start off right, and then you won't have to correct things later on. Um, that way you can, you know, do, be doing your thing and, and be doing it right. Um, so, uh, uh, it, 30 minutes is really the bare minimum of practice time that you can do a, do a day uh, to, su to sustain. Uh, an hour is, is really, really the minimum that you need to consider. Um, any less than an hour, it, you aren't going to be advancing and you won't really be understanding stuff you won't have enough attention given to it. Um, 30 minutes will just sustain you. It'll just, you know, keep you at a level and, and keep you familiar with it, but it won't really help you progress. Um, I used to, um, I, I went to, uh, I don't know if you know what fine arts is, but it's a competition. And uh, I got either second or third or something like that. Um, where was I going with this? Um, I was going with that. Uh, I swear I had a point. Oh yes, yes. I went to I went to national competition. That's what it was. And um, I used to practice. I, I think um, some, most days I would practice between six and eight hours. Um, and that's that helped me to make it to nationals and get that high of a score. So you can see to really to really be comfortable with it, it needs to become like a second arm to you or you already have two arms, a third arm. Um, it needs to become an extension of yourself where you can relate well to it, you can you can be comfortable, and you can't have that kind of a connection with the instrument if you don't um, give it adequate time. So really, an hour is pretty much the, the standard of what you're looking at. Uh, we went over left hand technique. Uh, we'll go, we can go over that more, and, and if, if during our practice time I see that you're, um, that you're not, that you're not getting it, or that you're, you know, uh, uh, don't have it um, fluid, we'll go over it then, but I think you get the idea, because I know you have had some uh, guitar background with your school, I just don't know how much. Um, so, uh, Also, the idea here is to work at your own pace, um, so tell me if we're going too fast for you, um, tell me if you're not learning, whatever, it, it, this is supposed to be oriented toward to you. Uh, um, and also, uh, I want you to enjoy enjoy learning the guitar. I don't want you to feel like it's a chore or something. So if if I've given you too much to do or whatever, just be sure and tell me so we can work at your own pace. And um, yeah, if you have any if you have any questions or anything, write them down. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm recording some the lectures that the I mean lectures, the lessons that I don't really want to take up less in time with. Um, so that way you can watch them over and over again. Um, you know, if you have any questions, if it doesn't make sense to you, you can just watch it again. Uh, stuff like that, um, and then you can, you know, uh, uh, learn stuff like this to the side, and it won't take up our actual lesson time. Um, so yeah, just as a just as a recap, we talked about posture with your back, with your right hand, and with your left hand. Um, we talked about making sure to practice consistently um, every day, at least an, uh, try to shoot for an hour every day, um, and. Then the last thing I said was to be sure and tell me if uh, you're having problems or if I'm going too fast or whatever. Um, all right.